Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Halloween Cup and we're taking a look at a legend today. So they actually said that they went from the 2900s, low 2900s to over 3100, almost 3200 ELO with this team. So great team. I mean, Escavalier is a great Pokemon and the Toxapex of course is a great Pokemon for this meta and Umbreon is just such a tank. Uh, so it's Toxapex. So let's just go ahead, dive right into battles, see what we got going on for us today. So it's somebody going to be able to get off the Psychic, but the Toxapex does switch out. What did they switch into? I actually didn't see what they switched into. Oh, another Umbreon. Very nice catch by the opponent, but you can bring in the Escavalier. And of course, Escavalier doing super effective damage with counter. Uh, Escavalier is really good. I've actually battled a decent amount of them. It really is. I mean, it does well with the drill run against the poison types, and there's a lot of them in this meta, for example, Toxapex doing well against the dog types like Umbreon, as we can see. Uh, the opponent will shield. You could shield this. Uh, definitely worth the shield, right? So Escavalier will go ahead and shield it. It's going to be that foul play, of course. Makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go for another Mega Horn. No, actually, yeah, Drill Run KOs. You wouldn't go for Mega Horn here. Drill Run is going to be enough to KO. Um, and there we go. Down goes the Umbreon. You'll have to see it. So it's going to be that Toxapex going to switch out into your own Toxapex. They bring out Tyranitar, and Tyranitar is really weak to fighting. It's also weak to water as well, and this brine is coming out. So they have to shield this. Yeah, they. I mean, it, that would have done so much damage. I think you could make it to another one, actually. Um, let's see. Is this a crime? You survive. Are you, yeah, you survive it, and you get to another one, even with the defense drop. Toxapex is an absolute tank. So this blind is coming out, this could be enough to KO, uh, easy KO there, and in comes Toxapex. And I think, I mean, you could definitely get to a drill run, You're, I mean, the s is close to it already. So we're going to see this Sludge Wave come out, and this is going to not KO, but in comes Umbreon, okay. Probably just looking to take energy, it doesn't really matter, this is going to be a win anyway. Good game, well played, let's move on. Umbreon into Sableye, definitely a great matchup. Uh, they switch out into Needle Queen. Uh, again, you have the Escavalier with the Drill Run, right? Of course, Drill Run super effective. Although, Earth Power will do a lot. We're going to see a shield. I feel like they don't bait here. They don't. They go straight Earth Power. Uh, that would have done a lot, right? But, again, Escavalier is going to charge up enough for almost two. Going for the Drill Run. Will the Needle Queen shield this or will they let it go? Let's find out. They do go ahead and shield it, but Escavalier gets off another one. Absolutely incredible. I don't think this KOs the Needle Queen, but it's going to get it low. Uh, they shield. Maybe it wouldn't. Actually, from that health, maybe it would, would KO. But we're going to see a shield right now. And it's going to be another Earth Power. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, going to try to get off another one. But they actually make a really good catch into their Sableye. So, great play by the opponent. You got to give it to him, right? But you can go into Umbreon. After charging up a little... Actually, no, they're just staying in. No, yeah, going to gonna switch out after charging up for the drill run. I like that play. Great play. Um, and it's going to be a foul play. Beautiful catch. Uh, now you could farm up energy, right? Uh, gonna go ahead and go for the foul play. This foul play is gonna KO. I think it, I think it KOs, right? They're, they're in foul play range. They are in foul play range, so does KO. Govantula coming in. Okay, gonna be able to get off this foul play. Throwing that CMP though, a little bit unfortunate there because now, even though this doesn't KO, your foul play will do less, but that's okay. Um, this foul play is coming out, and this is going to obviously connect. Yep, it connects. And trying to get to another one, but they actually switch into Needle Queen. But this is still going into the Needle Queen. This is still okay. Um, and there we go. In comes Escavalier. They do throw an attack. Going to be a Poison Fang, but Poison Fang is probably enough to KO at this range. Um, it is enough to KO. You still have the Toxapex, fully health, healthy Toxapex. So this is going to be a good win here. Uh, they do get off an attack. Just a Poison Fang, though. And like the, the even if. Oh, never mind. It's not a Poison Fang. It's actually. Ooh, okay. Never mind. Um, okay, if they got to a Discharge, that would have been scary. Uh, but they actually don't get to the Discharge before this Brian. Uh, but they do get it off. So they do get it off. This is going to KO. It's actually close. I didn't think that was an Earth Power from the Needle Queen. Oh my gosh. Umbreon is going to be able to barely, barely farm down. Great game. Well played. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't realize they had the energy for the Earth Power. Uh, but good game. Okay, going up against Ponyard. Uh, very cool. Uh, so this Umbreon is going to go ahead and go for the foul play right now. Uh, nice neutral damage. Actually, no, it's resisted. It's a dark type. What am I talking about? It's a dark type. It's resisted. Uh, they're actually going to be able to catch. So good catch by the opponent. This foul play is coming out. 
and this is going to hit the uh, attack apex. So it doesn't do too much, but that's an interesting catch considering foul play is resisted, right, by Ponyard. Uh, I don't know why I thought it was neutral, but uh, it's resisted. Going for the Psychic uh, and then switching out into your own Toxapex. Okay, the opponent's Toxapex is going to go ahead and go for an attack right now. Going to be a Sludge Wave, totally fine. Um, doesn't really do much at all, right? You're definitely going to be able to win this this matchup and we do see this uh attack come out the sludge wave gonna get it low and then maybe go for the fawn down with poison jab yeah you definitely be able to get the fawn down uh, they do switch out into pony yard actually so uh pony yard is going for the night slash and they actually get off another night slash so this night slash is going to connect Oh, they get the attack boost actually, but the thing is you could bring an S Cavalier and the counter damage going to be super effective, but we're actually, yeah, we are going to see that uh, S Cavalier come in now. Keep in mind, they are boosted, right, from that attack boost from the Night Slash, uh, so you kind of have to shield that. Uh, Needle Queen coming in, yeah, hit on energy, which is really nice. Um, so we're going to see a Drill Run come out right now. This drill run is going to, I mean, you have almost have two. They do shield it, but you're going to be able to get to another one. Not before they get to an attack. S Cavalier is going to go ahead and shield it. Obviously, if it's an earth power, it does a lot of damage. It is an earth power. Now you can over farm. Not going to over farm. They do switch into Toxapex, though. Uh, so this Toxapex is going to go down, okay? Uh, and Needle Queen is going to be hit with another one. No, they're going to attempt to catch. This is a game over anyway. Um... Because even if they throw the Earth Power, well, first of all, I don't think the Earth Power KOs. They throw the Poison Fang, uh, and we get to a Psychic, and this Umbreon is going to KO that Needle Queen. That is going to be a great game, very well played to both trainers. So able to win that one. Nice, nice. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Yeah, really well played throughout uh, these battles. Really enjoying the battles. Umbreon into Dragalge. Okay. So I've been in this matchup on the other side. I've been to Dragalge. This is not bad for either trainer. Uh, but, I mean, you do have the Psychic, which is good. That that gives you a, a benefit, right? Because it's super effective towards the Dragology. Uh, so, you can throw the Psychic, uh, and it does connect. And it is a CMP. Average will get it low. We're going to see a shield. Usually, uh, if I'm the Dragology, they do shield as well. Uh, and usually, I do throw the Outrage. So, uh, but the opponent did nicely bait there. However, this is going to KO anyway. Um, so, it doesn't really matter, I guess. In comes Escavalia. Um, okay, so, yeah, I guess the Umbreon, as well as the Toxpex, don't really like Escavalier. Uh, obviously, Escavalier versus Escavalier is neutral, uh, but uh, we'll see after the Slag decides to stop. And we do see a foul play. They're probably going to shield here and fawn down, and then they'll have a lot of energy, which is actually really scary, but we're going to see a switch into Escavalier. Okay, I like that switch. Going to go ahead and take this. I mean, they are low. This is not going to KO. Gonna go ahead and shield it. They have another one though. Uh, well, they switch out into Toxapex. Interesting switch. The Toxapex coming out. So the same back line uh, to, from both trainers. Uh, so we're going to see this uh, drill run that is going to connect. And we're gonna see another drill run. Um, let's see if this connects or if they let this go. And it is gonna go ahead and, and shield. They are gonna shield that. It does not connect. Uh, they're gonna be able to get off an attack, but Brian's not gonna KO. So uh, that's totally fine. You just let that go. Trying to get to a Drew Run, come on. Oh, can't make it, can't make it to the Drew Run. I actually thought the S Cavalier was gonna get there, but not able to make it, that's okay. Brian is gonna pick up the knockout. Uh, in comes Toxapex, and Toxapex wants to get to an attack. Well, even if the opponent throws, uh, it's not gonna KO. I wonder if you could just Poison Jab this down. Uh, it, it's gonna be a lot of effort, but you're resisting these moves. I think it's worth it. Yeah, the opponent just concedes. Yeah, that was probably what you were going for. Well played. Moving on, Umbreon into Gold Bat. They can't go for the Shadow Ball, so we know they're gonna go ahead and go for the Poison Fang. They do switch out into Drapion. Here comes the Escavalier. Escavalier with that super effective Drill Run. And of course, Escavalier also wants to avoid Gold Bat, right? Uh, so it's gonna be Crunch. It's still not like a super dominate. It's, it's not really dominating for the Escavalier. Uh, because, I mean, look how much Crunch did. I mean, two Crunch is KO, right? So, it's not really the greatest matchup, but if they let it land like that, it's a great matchup. Uh, so that is amazing. Um, so, Gobat coming in. Gobat probably going for the farm down, but not before being hit with this draw run. Uh, this draw run is, uh, resisted, but hey, I mean, look at that damage. Escavalier certainly did its job. In comes Umbreon. They're gonna switch. Yeah, I thought it was, uh... 
uh, Skunk Tank. I've seen uh, quite a few Double Dog teams use them myself. Uh, so we're going to see an attack come out. Crunch is resisted. Actually, no. Crunch is neutral, but Sludge Bomb and Flamethrower are resisted. Uh, so we're going to see Brian come out right now. Um, and see what this does. Decent damage. Decent damage. Nothing crazy. Uh, do you let this go? Yep. Going to go ahead and let it go. Going to be a crunch. Uh, I'm going to get it low. Decently low. I'm not going to KO. Uh, so Brian is going to come out. And this is going to not KO again. But we'll probably see a shield from the skunk tank. No, we, they actually let it go. And it actually does KO. So go back. Comes in. Okay, yeah. They're saving the shields for Gobat. Uh, which is totally fine. So this they have to shield this because they're getting low, right? Um, and then you can bring in the Umbreon after this. Yeah, going to bring in the Umbreon. And go for the foul plays. This is going to be a win. Not even going to shield this, which I do agree with, because the first one is going to do less than usual, right? Uh, they're going to go for another one. Yeah, as I said, the first one, first couple, going to do less than uh, the additional ones afterwards. This one you probably shield. No, not even going to shield this. I mean, granted, it doesn't KO, but uh, going to get it low. Um, I would have shielded that one, but it doesn't matter because you can get off the foul play, and then you can get off another foul play. Uh, but they might go for the Psychic Drift because, no, they go for the uh, Foul Play. And this is going to KO. And that's going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers there. Yeah, really well done. It <laughs> winning with two shields. Nice flex. So moving on, Umbreon into Wormadam. Yeah, I would say, okay. I mean, obviously the Confusions are double resisted, right? Which is good. The Bug Buzz, though, on the other hand, is super effective. But Umbreon can take one. And because of that lag, don't know where they are in terms of energy. I hate that stutter lag because... You, you, you know, at that point, you don't know where they're at. <laughs> you, know, it, it, you know, the energy. You don't know where they're at with the energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we're going to see another foul play uh, coming out. Very nice. I mean, you survive a bug buzz, so you don't have to shield this uh, anyway. Um, and we are still going to see a shield just to keep the Umbreon healthy. Okay, I respect that. Um, they're going to switch into Manda Buzz. In comes uh, Toxapex. It's an Air Slash Manda Buzz. Most Manda Buzz I've battled. I think all of them actually have had Air Slash. <laughs> they're going to be able to go for an attack. Uh, it's gonna be that foul play makes sense um, We're gonna see a sludge wave. I don't know mana buzz is so tanky You don't have to shield this if you're the mana buzz, but they might shield it. Uh, they don't shield it. Okay And Mana buzz is gonna go ahead and go for an attack another one. It's gonna be another foul play for sure uh, totally fine and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the sludge wave this will KO the mana buzz or get the shield We'll see what they decide to do uh, they do let it go. I may have thrown the bind there, kind of expecting a shield, but it worked out because they didn't shield. So that was a great play, right? Uh, it could go either way, right? It's 50-50. Uh, but they do bring in the women them. Of course, Toxapex is weak to Confusion, but is it really weak? Because it's so tanky uh, and able to get off the bind, able to pick up the shield. Uh, Escavalier coming in. They're going to be able to throw a resisted attack. These moves are all resisted. Um, still does a lot. What is this? Oh, the Denny. Wow, okay. So the Denny is an electric type, so it is weak to drill run. So we're gonna see a shield right now. Uh, gonna be a discharge, that is fine. And gonna go ahead and see this drill run come out right now. I mean, they really have to shield. Right, they have to, yeah, they do shield it. Um, gonna go ahead and go for a catch. I mean, that's also a psychic type, so Umbreon is doing well against the Denny. Um, so like, doesn't really matter. I mean, well, uh, that's right, it does have play rough. We're actually gonna see a sidekick. Okay, very interesting, isn't? That uh, Psychic is is neutral. Oh, that's a Fairy Electric type. Oh, why was I thinking the Denny was a Psychic? <laughs> the Denny's not a Psychic. It's a Fairy Electric type. So I was thinking Foul Play was super effective. It's not. Uh, so that's going to KO the Denny. Uh, and of course, you don't want to throw the Foul Play at the Fairy type, right? So well played to this trainer. Uh, but we're going to see another Psychic come out. This is going to be enough to KO. And that is going to be a great game. Very well played and a great submission. Thank you so much for sharing your battle experience with us. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.